It is not good to eat too much honey. <laughs> <laughs> Nor is it honorable to seek one's own honor. So if we do too much, it's too much. I say a little bit of salt and soup's good, too much ruins it. My dad used to tell me, he says, never love a woman more than she loves you. <laughs> I understood that real well. <laughs> but you go way beyond that, too. I mean. Yes, but I don't go on beyond terms of the emotion of the mind. Yeah, yeah. Because those then become a desire of attachment and possession. Right, and then you get you the suffering into, with it. Right, you get into desireless desire which is a form of innocent caring, mm -hmm. where you care and you do what you can do, but you don't berate the inability to do more. Because you, you would recognize uh, the infiniteness of God's ability to supply for us what we can't supply for ourselves. Who do you think gets you well? Yeah, it's when we don't trust that God will provide, then we'll spread ourselves out to cover all the necessary bases. And if we got spread too thin, then things start to crumble. And the sickness is the portrayal of the falseness of the approach. Mm -hmm. So then we get sick and we gather ourselves back and we give off the things for other people to handle, which had been great administration ability in the beginning. beginning. Sure. So then we say, I see how to administer. You give it to them ahead of time before you get sick. There's the ability to see what needs to be done, and then it's... Well, I think you may bought into the thing, if I want it done right, I have to do it myself. It's like the person that reads the, the can of milk they're going to drink, and it says, shake well before using, so they go... <laughs> <laughs> see, well, that takes place. And so we're saying, be sure you give very good directions, shake the can well. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so you give directions that may seem like an overkill, but to somebody that would run misinterpretation, uh, you give them very good guidelines. <laughs>